All right, so you've looked up ways to get more views on YouTube and you notice that every social media coach, YouTube guru and growth expert are all talking about getting TubeBuddy. So you download TubeBuddy, you start using it and you realize your videos aren't getting more views or worse, they're getting even less views than before. And let me tell you, I get it because I've done that. I've been there and I actually got rid of TubeBuddy and I switched to something else. Thanks for helping us build this community. I really appreciate it. Today's shout out winner goes to this channel right here. And if you would like a shout out on our next video, make sure to comment down below or take a screenshot of you watching this one and tag us over on Instagram. Yes, it's true. When I started getting serious about growing my first channel after six months, the very first thing I did was I installed TubeBuddy. And then after two months, I uninstalled and I got another keyword research tool because I just felt like that one worked a lot better. But now that I actually know how YouTube works and what SEO is and all of that stuff, I am definitely reinstalled TubeBuddy and I find that I can use it a lot better because I understand how to use it. See, TubeBuddy is not a magic potion. <laughs> as soon as you download it, it's going to optimize your channel and get you way more views because you have TubeBuddy. It's almost like wanting to build a house, yet you've never built a house before in your life. You're not a contractor. You have no idea what you're doing, but you decide to go to the store you get the most expensive drill and you're like, this drill is going to help me build a house because this drill was on HDTV and I saw a guy build a house with it. And then you put up the framework and it falls because you're not skilled to build a house. TubeBuddy is the same way. You have to know how to read TubeBuddy so TubeBuddy is going to work for you because it's going to help you figure out what your audience is searching for, how often your audience is searching for it, and how much competition is also around that same search topic. Because without that, if you just try to use TubeBuddy to get more views, your house is going to fall because the structure and foundation is not there. Okay, first things first is how does the YouTube algorithm work? So the YouTube algorithm can get pretty complex, but I'll just give you a really easy version to break things down for you. YouTube is a search engine and the main part of the algorithm is programmed to match a viewer's search request with a content creator's video. Now you're probably thinking, but Tiffany, how do I know what someone is going to search? And that is where TubeBuddy comes in. Okay, so before I can show you how to use TubeBuddy to make sure you're getting more views on your YouTube video, I want you to go ahead and roll underneath this video to my description box until you come to try TubeBuddy for free for 30 days. You're going to hit this link and open that in a new tab. The reason you want to open it in a new tab is so you can still hear me while I walk you through how to install the Chrome extension if you have not done this already. If you've done this, you can go ahead and just skip ahead. I have the timestamp chapters down below. You're going to see two buttons. The very first one I want you to click is this green one that says install free on Chrome. And then you're going to click the blue button that says add to Chrome. And then just select add extension. It takes about a minute, but once it's added, you're going to see a pop-up box that says TubeBuddy has been added to Chrome. And then the blue box will change to remove from Chrome. Don't want to do that. That just means that it's actually been added. And to double check, you can, from the same page, just type in YouTube and you should see a white box with a red TB sign that is TubeBuddy's box. Next to that box, you're going to see TubeBuddy sign in. This is required. You want to make sure you click on that and then select the sign in button here and then make sure you're signing in with the email account that is linked to your YouTube channel. All right. Now I know this always freaks people out. So I just want to remind you this portion here that says see, edit and permanently delete your YouTube videos. This is not allowing TubeBuddy to do that randomly by itself. This is allowing you to manage your YouTube channel using TubeBuddy services, including their app. It is the exact same thing as if you were to upload a picture to Instagram for the first time, Instagram is going to have a pop-up box that says to allow Instagram to access your picture folders. Again, this isn't so Instagram can randomly go through it. It's so you can access your folders through their service. This is the exact same thing. It is a trusted site from YouTube. They're not going to delete anything. So you can go ahead and just select allow. And then that's going to take you back to YouTube and it should say successfully signed in. Okay, so once you're successfully signed in, this is where you can start using TubeBuddy's tools to help you get more views. Now, something I want you to know is you need to make sure you are doing this next part before you even record a video. If you have recorded your video, you've uploaded it to YouTube, and then you're going in and using TubeBuddy's tools to try to get more views, it's not going to work for you because the point of the tools is to ensure that your target audience is interested in the topic that you're wanting to talk about and that the competition or the videos and search results is not super high, especially if you are a smaller YouTuber. Okay, now that I feel like I've lectured you, let's go ahead and see how to research before you record. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and click on the white TubeBuddy 
side and scroll down to where it says Keyword Explorer. This is going to bring up a Keyword Explorer toolbox that is a direct reflection of YouTube search bar. We'll go off of my YouTube video ideas. So literally I was like, okay, is my audience interested in what videos they should be making? So I just typed in YouTube video and you notice I didn't even get through all of video and YouTube video ideas comes up as the number one right here. So I went ahead and clicked on that and that's going to bring up this box here. Something else that newer YouTubers do is they look at this overall score here in this little like graph and they decide right away if this is going to be a video topic or not. And a lot of people try to get to the green and 100 and there's nothing wrong with that, but you need to understand that there's so much more information that goes into this, like this box down here, which is commonly ignored. If you actually read the text under here, it tells you that yes, it's searched often, but it's bad to target because it's extremely competitive. And this box down here gives you the information you need to know on why this is so competitive. So if you go down here, you'll notice the search volume says excellent. And these graphs are really easy. Red means stop, green means go, yellow means proceed with caution. So this is saying, yes, go for it. It's an excellent search term. It's searched a lot. And if you actually go down to the very bottom, it gives you the number of monthly searches. And it's saying that this YouTube video ideas is searched on YouTube 350 thousand times a month. But we have to remember this says poor and the reason why is because competition is poor. That means there's a lot of videos in search that have done videos on YouTube video ideas. And if you look down here at the number of videos in search results, you'll see that there's 89.7 million videos in search results. So to me, what this is saying is I have a one and 89.7 million chance of ranking first in search. So what I need to do is add what I like to call identifiers to try to lower the competition. So I took my overall topic of YouTube video ideas and I've just added some identifiers to try to lower the competition. So now I'm not competing with everyone who's doing YouTube video ideas. I'm only competing with those who are doing trending YouTube video ideas in January. And if we click explore, you're gonna see this information is gonna change. And I went from 89 million videos in search results to 116,000. And if you look at results, I'm actually ranked number one. Now I know some of you are like, well, now it's saying the search volume is poor. How are you going to get views? And all we've done is add a long tail keyword phrase that we're really targeting to lower the competition. But YouTube video ideas is still there. And if you don't believe me, if I erase this, you can see right away, not only do I have one, I have two videos that are ranking in search results. And if you look down, you'll see that my video is ranked number nine. So I have beaten out over 89 million other videos to rank number nine in search results simply by targeting a longer tail keyword phrase and identifying the smaller competitive topic that's going to get me more views. This is why researching before you record is so important and understanding how to read your keyword research tool because I could have easily been scared off by this and I would have never have tried to lower the competition and ignored all of this. Okay, so the second part of understanding how to use TubeBuddy is understanding how the YouTube algorithm works along with how SEO works. Now, SEO stands for search engine optimization and it really speaks to the metadata or information that you place into your title, tags, description, even the transcript of your video so that it matches the viewer's search request so YouTube is more likely to place your video higher in search that person when they search for your topic, the video you made, they're going to click on your video because your metadata matches their search request. So to be able to make sure that you have proper metadata in the right places, you're gonna wanna use TubeBuddy's SEO Studio. So we're going to fully optimize the video, and when you're new, it can get hard to figure out, am I putting the right words in the right places? But TubeBuddy makes it easy. And again, you do have to have at least a paid version, but the free trial link in my description box will give you access to this for 30 days until you decide to pay for it or not. So you're gonna go ahead and select on action. Once, make sure that you have this here, um, all the information's correct select action, and then optimize an SEO studio. This is going to bring you to a new box. And what's really cool is it gives you a TubeBuddy SEO score. So you'll notice that it says how to improve your SEO score. It's literally a checklist you cannot fail. As soon as you do it, it checks it green. So the only things I'm missing is including your target um, keyword naturally in the title. As soon as I added information, that checked green. The next thing I need to do is include partial matches of your target keyword in the description. So this is your description box. And you'll see whenever your keyword is being used, they highlight it yellow. So you're just gonna wanna write this a couple of different ways. Okay, so once that's done, you can 
can see my score went from like 76 up to 95%, right? The next thing we're gonna do is hit next, and you're gonna see up here, this is a tag section, and this is where I try to put in as many tags as humanly possible. You have a character limit of 500 um, that break up my tags. So one, I want my long tail keyword phrase, and I also want the shorter one that's actually highly served. Once I have those, then I can just kind of play with it a little bit more. Okay, so usually after you hit the 300 character limit um, or mark, this is when the include more relevant tags is gonna go green. You'll also notice that they have populated um, suggested tags and you can easily just put add to tag limit. And then something I like to do is have the very last tag be my channel name. The reason I do not put my channel name first is because relevancy is based off the first tag. So they're not searching navigating YouTube, they're searching YouTube video ideas. Now I move over to my thumbnail. So what I like to do is I like to look at the top three and then I say, okay, what do they have in common? Like what colors are they using? What words are they using? What do their expressions look like? And what can I do to stand out? Okay, and then after that, you're gonna go ahead and hit next and you're just going to save to draft. And here's another proof, it actually has save here that I do all of this. So these are my next videos that all I'm waiting for right now is to record, um, edit, upload, and then I just go back and hit um, the drafts. So I'll show you if you go to your creator studio, once you have uploaded your video, you can go to content. We'll just click on this one, it's my last video. You're gonna hit this little detail section here, the little pencil. All right, so once you are in your video details page of the video that you just uploaded that you need to add the information to, you're gonna go back to TubeBuddy. It's red in your creator studio, so the color change was the exact same thing. You're gonna click on SEO Studio here. You're gonna go load from save draft, and then you're going to hit the one that we did. So we just did the trending YouTube video idea, so you're gonna go here. It's gonna populate everything for you that you did. You can just automatically jump to step four and then just apply to video. And all that work we did is literally just going to populate itself. And then all you have to do is press save and you're done. It even does your thumbnail if you upload your thumbnail on there. I cannot stress that enough. Research before you record. It's gonna be a game changer for you to get more views using TubeBuddy. But let me know in the comments below if you are using TubeBuddy correctly. And remember, if you have not gotten TubeBuddy yet, you can try out TubeBuddy for 30 days for free with the link in my description. I'll actually have it in the pinned comments below. And for more simple strategies to grow on YouTube, you can go ahead and check out this video here. Get out there, make some content, use TubeBuddy, and let's grow together.